I'll come up with um, some questions and then some basic outline for what we do. So I think the question is, you know, what will we do? Will we develop our employees? Is that what we want to do? In terms of their skills? Maybe we want to drive change. Maybe our company is shifting from this to this. How do we help the employees move from here to here? So maybe you're moving from manufacturing to information services. How do you help the employees move from manufacturing to information services? So I would call that driving change. Maybe you want to focus on your customers. So maybe the focus is how do we improve our customer relationships? How do we strengthen our customer service? That may be the most important thing. Or it may be that we need to develop our manager or our leadership. We don't have enough managers. We need more leaders in our company. So how do we do that? And maybe it's we need to get ready for tomorrow. Maybe we need to teach people skills for tomorrow. Maybe they don't need them today, but they will need them in the future. Or maybe I just need to focus on today. Well, these are all the choices. And I will tell you, you may sit there and say, yes, we need to do all of these. But I think the answer is you can't do them all. It's not possible to do all of them successfully. So you must get one or two of these today. But what's the most important thing for your company? What does your company need the most? And it's usually not too difficult if you have the vision activity, if you sit down and talk to the CEO. It's not too difficult to figure out what you need for the direction. So let's look at uh, some of them. I think there are four or five. This one is not very common, okay? but there are four common ones. And I think one is you focus on your external customer. And you don't train your employees, what you're training are your customers. So sometimes it's more important to train the customer than it is to train the employees. So that's one kind. Another kind is skill and development. This is where your employees need new skills. They need to uh, learn how to make something or how to do something, then you have a skill and development focus. Maybe it's a strategic business initiative, and we will talk about this a little bit more. But maybe there's one strategic thing that your company wants to do, and your corporate university will help them to do that. And I'll give you some examples. And that might be change. For example, like I mentioned before, you're changing from manufacturing to information services. So you can help to make this change happen. So those, I think, are four common reasons to have a corporate university. Those are four common strategies for a corporate university. And then there's a fifth one, which <coughs> Samsung in Korea has, uh, and which uh, a bank in Montreal and Canada has. And this is looking more at the future. For example, the bank in Montreal has their corporate university looking at the future of money. And you say, what do you mean the future of money? I don't know. They're just saying, well, will, will we still have money in 20 years? Or will it all be on that credit card? Or will it be something? So what is the future of money? So this, because it's a bank, their corporate university is looking at doing research on the future of money. SAMHSA is looking at, they were, even 10 years ago, they were looking at the future of mobile technology. So they were studying about cell phones and mobile phones and, and wireless technology 10 years ago. So their corporate university was focused on the future. That was where they went. So I call out the research focus. And it's, uh, very few companies have that, but just a couple have that. So, if we were to look at these four primary ones, so skill and development, strategic business, change management, or external customers. So those are the four primary categories. So, you know, the first activity that I would say if you decide you want to do the corporate university after you have your strategy, then it should be obvious from your strategy which one of these is the right one for you. And for example, maybe it's, you know, our customer relationships aren't very good. Our customers don't buy our product because it's 
too complex or they don't understand it, then your focus would be customer training. And you might do that. So there are many companies uh, in America that really spend a lot of money and focus on training the customer. On the other hand, it may be that you just need a whole lot of people need to learn how to do make your product. Or you know how to do it, that would be still the question. So let's look at, at some of them. So the skill of development is really the focus is on the individual. It's on a single employee helping them get the skills that they need to do their job, whatever job that may be. So you want to make sure you have a confident and highly skilled workforce. I would say that of all the work universities, this is the most common. Probably 70% look like this, a skill development focus. Okay? And if you have a large workforce, this is an important one to have. But let's assume that you're a small company. You have 20 or 30 or 40 employees, and let's say you are an engineering company. Then your engineers, they already have skills. They already have a lot of education. So you probably don't need this kind of university. Maybe in that kind of a company, you need to focus on the customer or some other aspect of it, but not so much on this one. But if you have a large manufacturing company, this might be the most appropriate one because you have to develop a lot of employees and train them. Or if you have a lot of turnover, which lots of people are leaving your company, then you have how to be trained the new people quickly and get them up to speed. Okay. So this one can have skill building classes. This one can have a lot of succession planning, meaning who, if I leave, who will replace me? We call that succession planning. So at every company, if uh, this person leaves, who can do that job? Who, will, who can be promoted and do that job? So they have to develop a plan for that. They can have to train the people to do that. To do that. Um, and it's really about achieving maybe some kind of a personal goal of the employee. What does the employee want to do? I want to learn to do something. And so you help the employee learn to do that particular thing. Uh, and generally, this may also have some sort of qualification for your company. Maybe they need to get a certificate, or maybe they need to pass a test or something in order to do something in your company. So this kind of corporate university looks more like training and development. This is more like traditional. Uh, education. Okay. The difference here is what you are teaching is completely focused on your company's needs, okay, on your company's needs. So, for example, the best example I think, the difference is if I have this kind of corporate university and someone says, I would like to have a class in how to make a PowerPoint presentation. I would probably say, no, I don't do that. Because making a PowerPoint presentation is probably not going to help my company. It will help me, but it's probably not going to help my company sell more products or be more productive. So what I would say to an employee who said, I want PowerPoint training, I would say, you can find a course outside. You can take a course from some other outside supplier. But our corporate university only teaches courses that help the organization achieve its business goal. So maybe the course would be how to make this chair, or whatever it is, that would be, of course, very specific to the company. So it's a little bit of a difference here between doing things that are just because the employee wants you to do it versus is it going to help the company? Is it really going to be useful for the company? And in my experience, most training and development tends to be more like PowerPoint. Okay. But I teach you how to do PowerPoint. I teach you how to uh, speak. I teach you something. But that doesn't necessarily help my company. It may help you get another job. <laughs> but will it really help my company be better? So that's the question you have to ask in this kind of program. And that's the difference between training and development and the program. Corporate universities focus is on how do I help my organization be better? And how do I teach the employees to do what I need to have done more effectively and better way? 